Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games, back with another cool arcade game. Today we've got a kit game, but it's a notable one, so we figured we'd shoot a video of it. This is Tato's Matt Mania. Also distributed in the U.S. by Mimitron, if you've ever heard of Mimitron. And I say Tato. Some people say Taito. But I say Tato. So anyway, this is Matt Mania. They had a couple uh, wrestling games. They had Matt Mania, they had Mania Challenge, and they had Tag Team Wrestling. I think Tag Team Wrestling was the first one. This is the second one. And then uh, uh, Mania Challenge, I think, was the third one. And I think Mania Challenge was finally a two-player one. You can play two-player on this one, but you take turns playing. You don't actually play against each other. This thing is so old, you couldn't play against each other. Think about that. Old school. But around here, you know, in the Carolinas, we're suckers for wrestling games. So, I mean, this thing's awesome. But it's a kit game. I don't know if they even had dedicated versions. So this is in a... This is a uh, Century uh, Vanguard cabinet. Similar to, like, the Phoenix cabinets and stuff. And eventually, they took Vanguard out and put in Matt Mania. So we figured we'd film a video. It's kind of cool how it's playing the, the track music, too. It's got pretty cool track music. That's what the cabinet looks like. I don't think it came with side art like the, on the kit, because I've never really had one that had side art. So. There is the marquee. The art on these was always real kind of goofy. So, I don't know what's going on there. You can see the camera there. There's a little guy hiding down there. Who knows what that is? Or what these guys are doing. The lady hiding down there, and then these guys. <laughs> Come on, man! This guy cannot believe what he is seeing. The bezel had art on it. How to play? Game is over when opponent is pinned within three minutes or thrown out of the ring in 20 seconds. Pressing both buttons makes player dash across the ring. Pressing the left button only pins the opponent. The left button is the punch button. And the right button is the kick button. And it's ambidextrous, so it's the other way on this side. In case you want to play backwards. One player, two player. With the two player mode's weird. You like take turns playing, but it's, it, it don't even make any sense. Various tricks available at particular status after particular actions. So if you put them in a headlock, you can hit up and punch to do a body slam. Or you can hit down and kick to do a pile driver. Or up and kick to do a brain buster. And then after the hammer throw, which I believe is throwing them to the ropes, if you hit either direction and the kick button, you do a lariat. If you hit just the kick, you do a rolling soul butt. If you hit any direction and punch, you do an elbow smash. Okay. If you don't hit a direction and hit punch, you do a shoulder throw. So that's like after they're running at you. So on this side, basic tricks. You can hit just the kick button, or you can hit just the punch button. Or you can hit the punch button and do a headlock when the opponent becomes groggy. And if you hit just the punch button uh, after attacking the opponent by headlock, you do the hammer throw, which I think is uh, throw them to the ropes. And if you hit both buttons, you're <laughs> dashing at the opponent. That's how you run. More, more rules here. This game was deep. Various tricks available at particular status after particular actions. After you're dashing at the opponent, if you hit kick, you do a flying body press. Uh, 
I don't understand how if you hit the same thing you do something else. So maybe it's after going up to the corner post. You do the plunger if you hit the kick. Or you uh, hit punch and you do the shoulder attack. Or if you hit punch off the top rope, you do the knee drop. Or if you hit kick off the top rope, you do the sunset flip. Whatever. It's kind of one of those games where if you hit the buttons, you do cool stuff. So there it is, Matt Mania. I think they did a real good job on the kit. It looks real clean and looks cool. And like I said, around here, I don't think we'll have any trouble selling it. People love some wrestling around here. So I'll get the tripod and we'll play it a little bit. Be right back. Alright, we're going to film a little bit of it. The attract mode is particularly bad on this because of the ref. We'll let it play through and you can see what I'm talking about. That was pretty good. Okay, it's coming up, I think. Watch when the ref counts them out. Or listen when the ref counts them out. <laughs> All right. So, if you have that in an arcade like we do, if we leave that on, he does that every 35 seconds. It, it gets old really quick. You're probably annoyed with it, and I've only done it twice. Imagine how that sounds every 35 seconds. Okay, we're going to let it do it one more time, just so you can get the gist of it. If you notice, too, there's a bunch of famous characters in the uh, audience. Okay, we're going to play it a little bit so it'll stop. I can put a credit on it. Whoa. All right, so here we go. It says push player select button. So we're going to do one player. I don't know if you can select your guy. I don't think you can. Who's it going to be? Oh, no, it's the Insane Warrior. Let's start. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, I missed. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. If I could just remember how to pin him. There we go. Oh, no. I bounced off the ropes when he threw me. That's how you do it, folks. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. How do I hulk up? Oh, a pile driver. Very nice. So there we go. The insane warrior was nothing for me. 
Going to the next one. Well, next event, you versus the Karate Fighter. Uh-oh. So I think this is supposed to be Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, right? Well, I don't know. He don't really look like the dragon. <laughs> Very nice. He kind of looks like Sabu, but Sabu wasn't around back then. Oh, man. <laughs> I tried to get him in a pile driver, but he wouldn't do it. There we go. Oh. Oh, that didn't do nothing. Uh-huh. I'm getting better as time goes on. Well, next event, you versus Coco Savage. All right. Well, okay now, let's start. You don't scare me, Coco Savage. I'm not I'm not afraid of you. Oh, man. Well, he's he's kind of awesome. He's kind of like uh, he's kind of like Superfly Jimmy Snooker. Oh man! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's a nice little move he's got there. Two can play that game. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to try to go to high risk, folks. Come on, Superfly. Or a Coco Savage. Folks, they got me. So you know what that means? He took my lunch money. Well, there you go. I didn't even let you put in your high score. I mean, your initials. So there it is, folks. That is Matt Mania. If you haven't seen it in a while, well, there it is. Old school. Still fun after all these years. Now by the time you see this video, Matt Mania may be in somebody else's uh, collection. It may not be available anymore. But maybe we'll have something else that you're interested in. Check out all of our games we have for sale at lionsarcade.com. Oops, if I can hold the camera. lionsarcade.com. Or if not, if, if, uh, if uh, you just want to stop by, just come by and check us out. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a showroom here with a whole ton of games uh, in it. And uh, we keep plenty of them in that work like this one. So we will see it. If you can't do that, maybe you're in Ireland. Well, then just subscribe to us here on YouTube and uh, we'll bring the fun to you. We'll see you next video.